everyone, Letty here. I had pre-recorded this video about a week ago before I lost my voice. It's already past Christmas, but I wanted to still show it to you just in case um, you have not seen this Dollar Tree hack where we make Christmas holiday money gift card holders. Welcome everyone. So today I'm using some Dollar Tree. They're Christmas money holders that they sell every year. They come in sets of eight with eight cards and eight envelopes. Let me show you a couple of the designs that I picked up. So I've got this green one. It's got a little sentiment on the inside. What I like about these is that they also have a little insert to add a gift card holder. So these are sort of versatile where you could put money long ways or you could also pop in a gift card holder into those slots. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to be jazzing up the fronts. Here are the dimensions and I'm basically going to use a piece of paper that's three by six and we're going to add it to the fronts of these and then add some additional decoration. Here's another version that I had picked up and I've shown this hack on my channel before. I just really like this and I thought if somebody wanted to prep for Christmas even though it's already passed they could still try to see if they could pick some of these up and make some of these year-round in preparation for Christmas so today I'm using the doodlebug collection called candy cane lane I purchased this at not too shabby um, and so he, I will list a website link and a discount code down below in case you want to try to see if any of these items are still available I'm using the ephemera packs the odds and ends the these are all the little pieces that come with it I think the chit chat as well the stickers uh, super cute icon mini icon stickers and then I have some six by six paper pad I, I mentioned in a previous haul video that I had pretty much used up one pack which was you saw right there and so that's why I purchased an additional one here is the actual paper pad itself it's really cute and that red is just really popping right on the camera um, I really like this little this collection I like doodlebug in general but I really like this collection it's super cute and I love all their Christmas collections they coordinate really well this one again is called candy cane lane and last time I checked not too shabby she'll still had it in her shop so if you want to um, pick it up you definitely can there's a link down below so we'll basically cut the sheets in half which will be perfect for the fronts of these cards and then we'll add some embellishments with the ephemera um, and also some of the items that I've purchased from scrapbook.com which were these items I picked up I got these free scrapbook.com like ephemera pack it's a variety of odds and ends chit chat and bits and pieces so you get all three sections or a little bit of each type of of the different ephemeras that, that Doodlebug has in that one set. It was a free with order purchase. Um, and then I got the puffy stickers. Um, these, I thought Jamie had run out, so I went ahead and picked them up at scrapbook.com. And then these are some of the 12 by 12 sheets. I got this sheet of tags, which I think are gonna be perfect for my little money holders. And then I've got some additional sentiments here, some smaller ones and some bigger ones. And then that I think I can probably cut down and use. They also come with some cut aparts. And I've got some additional papers and things that I also picked up from scrapbook.com so I'm going to be using a collection of my papers from scrapbook.com and also my items that I got from not too shabby shop the ephemera pieces cut down some of that paper from the six by six pad we're going to make some covers for these little money holders and I'm going to show you what we're going to make so the first phase is that I cut up the tags and the sentiments from those 12 by 12 sheets. And then the other thing that I did was I chose my six by six paper for the fronts of my little cards. So you see here, I've got some sentiments and those are some that I didn't think would work. And then I also pulled aside some sentiments that I thought would work. And then I've also cut down the full sheet of the little tags and I have those ready to go. And then what I did was I took out some six by six paper from the pad. And so each pack came with eight. So I have two packs. So I'm gonna have 16 total. So I need eight sheets of paper. So I kind of tried to align like which since for my directional paper, which of the tags would work best. And so you see here, I've got some of the, the backings that would work with either type of tag. Um, but I went ahead and tried to match as well as I could. And again, if I change my mind, I've got, it's double sided. So I've got a, a back, you know option as well from the b side of the paper so here you see here just a couple of different tag options and then there were some papers that were sort of non-directional and so i could basically use them either which way so i didn't worry about choosing a tag just quite yet because i figured i would have two options on this one i've got these little cut aparts and in case i change my mind i'm going to just cut it straight right in the middle which is the three inch mark which is exactly what i need and that snowflake pattern on the front is non-directional so it works out perfectly so again i pulled out eight sheets of six by six paper i've got 16 little tags and then some additional ephemera and sentiments that i'm going to put on the fronts of my cards so here's the next step so next phase is that we I actually added some eyelets to the tags so 
here's what it looks like. I went ahead and I wanted to just jazz them up just a tiny bit more. I thought they were super fun. And I thought these fun eyelets just really played on the fun colors from this collection. And so I took out my little um, eyelet holder that I got from Amazon and I will show it right here. And I will link it down below in case you're interested. It has a little hole punch and then it has the eyelet setter at the top. And we're gonna do one together on camera. So what I do is you, you see this little uh, hole puncher on the side. So you basically align it and then go ahead and punch it. And then the last step is just to pick out an eyelet. So I have this We Are Memory Keepers eyelets set that I think I picked up at Hobby Lobby a while back when they carried them. I will list a link for Amazon down below as well in case you need some. Um, you just basically pop in that eyelet and then there's a certain way that you have to clamp it with your setter and then you just go ahead and push it down. And I like to do it twice. So I'll so show you here, this is done. And it's pretty sturdy, but I'm gonna go ahead and do it a second time, just in case. They also have um, a We Are Memory Keepers setter. And I think that's probably gonna be the best bang for your buck because you get a couple different options with that one. Um, so I can link that one down below as well. So the next step that I do is I'm gonna choose what my ephemera is gonna be for each of my cards. So I've already assembled the bulk of them off camera. I've done 15 off camera. These are ready to go. I'll do a full recap at the very end of this video, but I wanted to do one with you. I pulled out some This Calls for Confetti, the red color. I picked this up at Not Too Shabby Shop. Again, I'll have a link down below for you and a coupon code if you want to save some money. But we're going to go ahead and assemble one today. And you see here that I added twine to each of the tags. That's what we're going to do first. And then we'll finish making this card. So I have that eyelet already in there. I'm using approximately nine inches worth of twine. You put the two ends together, push them through the back and you'll have a big loop in the in the back part and then you just basically loop those the front strings right through that loop. Then the last thing that I like to do when I'm especially when I'm making cards is I like to tie a little bow with my excess strings. I really don't like to have the strings hanging. If you were making regular tags, you could just let them hang, but because I'm going to decorate my card, I wanted to tie them into a little bow. So I just do a little bunny ears knot. And then I am going to be using some double-sided foam squares from Dollar Tree. I'm only gonna add two, I'm gonna add the two to the very top, and that's just to give me a little bit of wiggle room at the very top because of that eyelet and because of the twine. I brought in some Barely Art Wet glue that I'm gonna use to glue my items down and then also some pieces of ephemera. So I'm gonna glue down my mat to the front of my little card base. And again, my mat is three inches by six inches, which is half of that six by six paper, which is perfect. I'm gonna add my tag, add my ephemera pieces, and then that card will pretty much be done. So I'm gonna just peel back those two little, the backings of my foam dimensional tape, add some glue, and then go ahead and add down my tag. You see there where it pops up a little bit at the top. And again, that was intentional because of, I didn't, I, I had those foam tapes so I could uh, protect the, the twine and my eyelet. And then I'm gonna go ahead and it's gonna be flat on the bottom part of the tag. And then I'm gonna add my ephemera pieces as well. So I hope you enjoyed this. Again, I apologize this was so late. I lost my voice. I'm just barely getting it back. You can probably hear it. I'm gonna be using this jewel picker. I got it from Amazon as well. I'll link that down below in case you're interested in that. It's actually pretty affordable um, and I really enjoy using that jewel picker. So here was our final card that we made after adding that little bit of confetti as well. Super fun. I think this really jazzes up these money holders and you can do this with any season, any reason. If you find these money holders right now at Dollar Tree before they kind of fully put up all their Christmas stuff or sell out. Um, I really encourage you to get some, pick up a couple of packs. This was such a fun project. You get eight cards um, and eight envelopes for $1.25 or for, you know, however much it costs where you're at. Um, if you're out of the US, but um, so for the set of eight, I thought that was a pretty good bang for the buck. And it really is nice because from the vantage point of you have two options, you've got a money holder and you've got a gift card holder with those little notches. So, and you can use any paper in your stash to make this look just extra special for Christmas gifts. So here were all of the different 16 cards I made, again, using the Dollar Tree money holders. Again, I made 16 total using those, just a fun little hack for you in case you're interested, again, using that Candy Cane Lane by Doodlebug collection that I picked up at Not Too Shabby. I'll list the website link and a discount code down below. And again, I hope I encourage you to try this hack out if you haven't tried it, it's so fun. So thanks for visiting everyone. Hope you subscribe, like this video, follow me on Instagram. Here are a couple of videos I think you might enjoy. Happy holidays and happy crafting.